Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. And what would you say if I told you that the next version of Battlefield 6 is being powered by the Godot game engine? Now, if you said anything other than, Mike, you're an idiot, all Battlefield games are powered by the Frostbite game engine, well, you'd be correct. Uh, it is still being created using the Frostbite game engine. If you've never heard of Frostbite before, they've had this around for years. This is being used uh, originally at DICE for Battlefield Bad Company, but over time, they started using it for pretty much everything at Electronic Arts. In some ways, uh, to the negative, they started trying to force... Uh, not really compatible games to be created using Frostbite. A very high profile complaint from the people over at um, BioWare is that their games failed because they were forced to use this game engine that didn't properly fit. And the EA actually came out and said that they're gonna allow people, their development studios to use various different game engines over time. Now you may be wondering, okay, where does the Godot game engine fit in? Are they using Godot for Battlefield 6? And the answer is, Sort of, yeah, they are. And this is actually really kind of cool. So we just got this announcement about Battlefield 6. Uh, this is not my game. I do not like FPS games for the most part. Uh, Battlefield never really clicked with me. If anything, COD was a bit more my experience. Uh, but Battlefield 6 is still a big deal here and the new uh, beta is launching. So early access is coming on August the 7th. But the end of last week, they launched a new trailer that dropped with this for Battlefield 6. Now Battlefield 6 has a number of different game modes available to it. And one of the things that they're returning is something called portal mode. And that is where Godot enters the equation. So you see here, there's a little bit of a write down about uh, Battlefield 6, multiplayer and more were all revealed. Uh, it's fully launching by the way on October the 10th, but early access is again coming on August the 7th. Uh, and they've launched this new trailer that shows something very quite interesting. Uh, but the key thing here is this, Battlefield 6 also launches with a new, uh, with an all new improved iteration of Portal. So Portal to me sounds a bit like Forge uh, from Halo, uh, basically the ability to modify games, create new game worlds, etc. Uh, but it looks like they're going a step further than that. And it looks like almost like they're going to try and compete with the likes of UEFN to make Battlefield 6 a platform that games... Uh, that, you know, more mod-oriented creators can create their full-blown stuff there. So that's where Portal comes in. Creative Toolset allows you to redraw the lines of war. It is a more powerful and streamlined than ever before, giving players brand new tools to create completely unique content called community experiences. Again, this is where it's really starting to sound like UEFN to me. Uh, ambitious post-launch support will continue to add more modes, maps, weapons, and other features to the game on a consistent basis. Not that exciting from that description, but let's go take a look at the trailer portion and tell me if you can see something here that's uh, it's kind of interesting. It's, um, yeah. Yeah, that, that uh, level design tool there, that portal tool that you're seeing, that's Godot. They're using the Godot game engine for the tooling behind this map editor, this um, modding experience called Portal. Again, I don't have a Battlefield background, so I can only go from the little bits that they're showing here. And it is kind of interesting that, first off, it is not full-blown Godot. They've definitely stripped things out of it. And obviously, it's not textured, but it allows you to load up these Battlefield maps and make changes to them and share them. So basically, the modding tool set for the Battlefield game engine is Godot engine powered. That is really kind of cool. It's gonna expose a whole bunch more people to the Godot game engine, uh, and that's a win, even if nothing else is. By the way, if you've got no idea what the heck I'm talking about, well, first off, welcome to the channel then. Uh, Godot is probably the most popular open source game engine out there. It's kind of the analog of like Blender is the most popular 3D app. Godot is the most popular open source game engine. Completely free, completely open source, runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, and yeah, this is a pretty big win for them. A pretty high profile when you say, well, what has it been used for? Do you say, well, it's the modding tool set behind one of the biggest AAA shooters out there. That's a pretty big feather in the cap of the Godot team. Now, one other thing I want to point out here, this is from the Godot Foundation, and these are the people that support Godot. So you can see things like Chronos Group, which is pretty cool, uh, W4 Games, which is a spinoff of the founders of uh, the Godot project, so that one kind of makes sense. They got a number of other people like Megacrit uh, and so on that have supported the project. Um, so what you're not going to notice, uh, yeah, there's no EA. Now, I, I know EA is a small little indie company. They obviously can't afford to do much more beyond that. So I understand why they probably can't afford to support the Godot project when they're using it in such a capacity. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. But anyways, that is it. Uh, Battlefield 6 is using the Godot game engine for its modding support. Pretty cool stuff. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.